Hi there YouTube, um, so you're joining me today on a pretty miserable, dull, drizzly day. Um, I'm here at um, Boratour Reservoir, uh, as you probably all know, those that watch my channel regularly, um, this is probably one of my favourite places to be. Um, but yeah, it's pretty dull, it's pretty miserable. What I'm going to photograph, I don't know. Uh, probably some trees made of wood. Okay, so my first shot for today is going to be this fence that leads straight into the um, into the reservoir here. Um, we've got some nice golden coloured um, grasses or reeds or whatever they are along the fence line. Uh, on the left of the frame we've got a tree that's still got some yellowy colour on it. And then on the right of the frame we've got another tree that has a little bit of uh, yellowish colour there and then in the far distance we've got um, hang on, let me just make sure my camera is perfectly level here yeah so in, in the distance we've got uh, Sharpie Tor and Leather Tor across the other side of the lake with some nice uh, woodland now the light is really really flat uh, it's completely overcast as you can probably see so I haven't got a great deal of uh, good light to work with today um, so we're probably gonna have to brighten things up a little bit uh, in the edit in post-processing so I've got a polarizer on I've also got a six stop ND on now at F11 and ISO 50, that is giving me 25 seconds. Okay, so I'm just gonna check my focus now. So I'm gonna zoom in to the, um, the fence posts at the end there. And, um, and then I'm just gonna dial the focus ring until those fence posts are beautifully in sharp focus so I'm at f11 now that should make sure that pretty much everything through the frame is fairly sharp um, I'm not expecting the grass here and here to be super sharp and maybe then we might get a little bit of movement in these branches there is a little bit of breeze in the air but it feels, it's feeling quite still at the moment so I'm going to take this shot now 25 seconds we've got the two second timer on so that everything is steady and stable 
Well, it's going to be quite a long exposure, 25 seconds. And there we go. Now what I do now is I'll just press the uh, playback button so that I can see the image and then I'm going to zoom in and make sure that everything's nice and sharp and it is and even the grass looks pretty sharp too so yeah the tree looks sharp let's have a look over this side of the image yeah those branches look nice and sharp those grasses there are a little bit blurred you can see there's been some movement there but I think that kind of adds a little bit of charm to the image um, so yeah quite pleased with that one and that's my first image of the day Right, so the shot I'm framing up now, um, I'm having to handhold this uh, the, the video camera here. Uh, if you look down at where I am, I've got the, the shore of the lake there, and then down there I've got a drop. So there's no room to put my other tripod at the side of me. Um, here's my camera. So that's what I've got framed up. Um, so we've got the path leading in, and then we've got that tree with the uh, with the kind of rootish looking uh, vines or whatever they are wrapped around it, and then these other twisty gnarly trees coming out the side of the bank. Um, so I've got a polarizer on um, f11. That's giving me. Uh, 1.3 seconds shutter speed. I've focused on the. Um, let me just show you where I'm focused. So I've focused on the the main tree. Two second timer. And there we go. So, as I'm walking along this path, I've seen this amazing um, gnarly, twisty tree uh, growing out of the bank, out of this wall here. Um, now, the only problem with it is, as you can see, where I've got, as, you know, where I've got the camera, it's quite high up above me. Um, so I'm having to shoot upwards. So I've had to frame it as best I can against the backdrop of the forest across the road to cut out as much of the sky as I can 
Uh, I've not managed to cut it out completely, but I have cut a fair bit of it out. Uh, there's just a little bit in the top um, right hand corner. Um, but because it's so dull and overcast, it's not like really, really bright or anything. So, um, let me show you what I'm looking at. So there's my shot framed up. And as you can see, the tree is kind of growing out of this wall here. And it's got these beautiful gnarly twisty branches. Um, it's absolutely covered in moss. It's also got some bracken uh, leaves still growing on it and ivy growing up it as well. So it really does look cool. So this one is um, at F11, ISO 50. I've got the polarizer on, which is really popping the colors, the greens, and um, there's a little bit of um, bronzish browny leaves on uh, in the background there. Um, the ferns in this set, particular area still look really green. Um, two second timer, as always. Mirror locked up. And there we go. So my uh, final shot of the day is going to be this scene um, with these trees hanging over the um, over the reservoir here. Um, we've got some lovely colours on the path. Still got some uh, browns and yellows still hanging in the trees. Beautiful green moss um, all up the uh, the tree trunks and on the branches. And then we've got some nice sort of ivy. Uh, vines growing up the tree and twisting around the trunks and of course the water which is um, it's quite choppy today um, so with the uh, with the the six stop and Dion and the polarizer I'm smoothing it out to give it that kind of sort of milky sort of matte glassy look um, and yeah it, it's uh, it's looking like quite a nice image. 
So um, I'm at F11, uh, it's a 30 second exposure. I bumped my ISO up to 100. Um, just give me a little bit more light to play with. And, um, and yeah, that's it, I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. Right, so I'm going to end the video there. So thank you very much for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you like the images. And um, please leave a like and a subscribe if you do. And uh, leave a comment as well. I'll answer your comments if you um, drop us a line underneath. And I'll see you in the next video.